Google Cloud introduced some new innovations in BigQuery editions, auto scaling, compressed storage, and customers tend to experience massive savings, sometimes 40 to 70% savings. And so today we're bringing you Brian Walker, his director of product management here. He has spent time at Microsoft, Snowflake, and Amazon. So he brings a unique perspective on how these innovations can help you save money. Spends a lot of time with customers. So let's start with that, Brian. You know, what did you see with customers and what led to these innovations? Um, yeah, so as you said, I, I get to talk to lots of customers. Um, and a common theme that I hear from customers is, how do I do more with my data platform, but make sure that I'm spending money uh, in the right way, right? That I'm actually getting the value out of the dollar I'm spending. People are concerned about cost. We live in uncertain economic times. And so they want to make sure that they're really leveraging their spend to the fullest. Um, and so when we actually look at across the fleet, look across the service, we find that there actually is a fair amount of, of capacity that's not being used, of, of excess um, of capacity that could be better leveraged by, by our customers. And that really led us to the innovations behind BigQuery additions. That's great. So let's drill into that. You know, how can additions, auto scan, compressed storage, help a customer save money? Yeah, so there's really three ways. First is uh, the additions themselves are different price points for different feature sets, right? And so not everyone needs every single bell and whistle inside BigQuery. And so we created three packages of BigQuery uh, for you know ad hoc workloads, getting started with BigQuery, the simple workloads. Um, the Enterprise Edition has all the capabilities that an enterprise would look for, higher security, um, uh, business intelligence acceleration, uh, and integrated machine learning. And then our Enterprise Plus uh, uh, edition has higher availability, the highest availability across multiple regions for really so for those mission critical uh, workloads. So um, th that's the first is to, to you know, have the, the right edition of BigQuery at the right price point. The second thing that you mentioned um, uh, is about auto scaling. So auto scaling is a capacity management system built into BigQuery that adapts your capacity to your workloads. So instead of having a fixed amount of capacity and then having you really optimize that and make sure that you're using all the time, the auto scaler lets you set a top level, lets you set a budget, but then we will automatically scale up capacity as your workload demands increase. And as your workload demands decrease, we'll let go of that capacity and you don't pay for it. Uh, so those the auto scaler is built in all uh, three editions of, of BigQuery. And the last one you mentioned is compressed storage. So. Uh, compressed storage allows you to take advantage of BigQuery's internal uh, storage compression. Uh, you you pay for the, the actual compressed bytes rather than uh, the logical bytes as you load them in. And that can save customers sometimes up to 70, 80% uh, on their storage costs. So what's great here is that we have additions that give me a great way to select what's relevant to my workload. I've got auto scaling that follows me to the minute and I get compressed storage makes it more efficient for me. You know, how should customers think about leveraging each of these functionalities to save money? The important thing is that you look at your your, your different workloads that you're running within uh, the organization and you adapt the, the right addition and the right uh, capacity model to each one of them. And, and that's one of the nice things about BigQuery additions is that you can choose different additions for, for different workloads, right? You're not stuck on, on just one addition. Um, and then, you know, if you look in the compressed storage uh, area, you really need to take a look at your data and we give you tools to, to take a look at the data you're bringing into BigQuery. Some data is very highly compressible, right? And so, for example, if you're bringing in uh, log data from IoT or, or web front ends, you're bringing that into BigQuery, that tends to be highly compressible. There's other data that maybe you'll benefit less from the compression ratio. So, um, you know, take a look at, at the tools uh, that we offer and then really mix and match and, and, and configure a BigQuery that, uh, to be the most cost efficient for you. Now, can you tell me more about the workloads that are most compressible? Like, where would I expect the most savings? You know, BigQuery uh, offers what we call a columnar storage, right? Which means that highly repeating data is typically more compressible the way that, that, that BigQuery uses internally, right? So when I think about some of those uh, applications that, you know, have highly repeatable data, we talked about um, log analysis and uh, security logs, application logs, uh, device logs. Um, that data typically bit is highly compressible. You can see, uh, you know, compression ratios of 10 to 1, 15 to 1, 20 to 1. Um, and so that's the, really the, the where you're going to see the, the best advantage from uh, the compressed storage offering. All right. So mix and match additions, identify the right workloads, and identify the right type of data or use cases so you can maximize your compressed storage savings. Let's talk about a specific example here. You work with a lot of companies. Um, you know, tell us a story maybe of an organization that you were really impressed and how they kind of went about uh, using these capabilities to save money. Uh, we have a longtime customer I recently worked with uh, in the CPG, very large CPG company. 
um, who uh, have been, you know, using the BigQuery traditional flat rate model. So they have a, they bought a, a lot of slots and then they, they manage all their workloads within that. Um, and so when we worked with them, we went through the analysis and said, okay, here's where you are today with both your, your compute and your storage. Um, here's uh, you know what you can look like in the additions world, like which which uh, of your workloads can take advantage of the autoscaler, which are more sort of steady state workloads. Um, then also uh, they took advantage of our new um, three year commitment. So we offer now a longer term commitment that gives you an additional discount on top of those steady state workloads. Then plus the compressed storage, it turned out uh, that when they moved, uh, took advantage of all of these uh, different features uh, that they ended up saving uh, over 20% on their total BigQuery bill. All right, 20% on their BigQuery bill, that's gonna be pretty uh, meaningful to them. Uh, what would you advise you know, customers listening to us today? What should they go off and do? Well, the first thing is to get started. Um, all of the, the features that we've talked about are available today. You can uh, start working with, uh, with the autoscaler, with additions, uh, with compressed storage, taking a look at, at really how to optimize your workload. Um, and, and we've got some great tools that are built into BigQuery that let you look back historically. Um, and we'll take a look back at, at how your workloads ran over time. Um, and then as you're sort of going through that process, uh, you can try it out. You can see the impact as you're you know, uh, making adjustments uh, and then really fit your configuration to, to meet your needs the best. So, um, and if you need help with this, um, you know, we're happy to help. Reach out to your Google account team if you don't know how to get started or you don't want some help in understanding really what all of these new capabilities mean to you. That's great. Can you talk a little bit about the new tooling, actually? Because there's new functionality that notifications allow you to understand where you are. And that, that's new and interesting for customers, I think. We've got um, a great set of tools built right into to BigQuery that are available in the Google Cloud Console. Um, we've got a, a administrative charts. So we've got a set of charts that really show you your historical usage, where your peaks and valleys were of capacity. You can break that down by uh, different projects, by uh, different parts of the organization, uh, really helping you understand your past history. And then we've got tools that really give you recommendations for, hey, what is the impact if I change my uh, capacity? What's it going to do to my workloads? Um, uh, we call it the slot recommender and really helps you fine tune those workloads so you're getting the most out of it. Um, the other great thing you can do is all of the data is available. So you can actually use BigQuery itself to analyze all of your historical usage data. So you get a lot of great tools to really help you fine tune your BigQuery environment. Brian, this is great. Thank you so much for the time today. Thanks for having me, Bruno. All right, so you heard it. If you're a customer listening to us today, don't wait. Take a look at these innovations right now. You could be saving money today. So we hope that you got value out of today's video. Until next time, I'm Bruno Ziza.